West Seattle. We've learned a small business that was targeted yesterday morning in a break-in has been hit yet again. This now makes eight break-ins in just one month. Let's get back to Angelie Cockadace, who's once again live at Global Vacant Smoke Shop off of 35th and Roxbury. So, Angelie, we saw surveillance video from yesterday when thieves smashed a car through the storefront. What happened there this morning? Well, Mimi, according to the owner, thieves tried to break in into his store the same way they did previously. But this time he had poles installed uh, just yesterday afternoon. He said these poles went up and they did their jobs. Thieves could not get in. So it was really attempted uh, burglary here. They didn't make it inside, but they did smash the window of the pizza, uh, pizza store just next door, perhaps to gain entry uh, into the global vape and smoke shop. At this point, the owner tells us he believes Believes the burglars are the same people that have been hitting his store every time and that they are young. Now, he doesn't want to go on camera out of fear for being targeted, but is at this point really just begging police to be in this area more often between the hours of two to five when these crimes are happening. This morning, the attempted uh, burglary here uh, did happen at 2 a.m. He just confirmed to me. Now, after break in, after break in, even customers are chiming in. Take a listen. The only thing I gotta say is they gotta park a car right there, a patrol car, and just let it sit there, and that will deter the people coming back and breaking in. Now, last year, there were 88 burglaries in this neighborhood, 56 just this year as of uh, August 31st, which won't include many of the thefts at the smoke and uh, vape and shop here in West Seattle that are happening at the store. Meanwhile, the car used in the smash and grab yesterday was a Kia. They're, being, they're known for having uh, these issues, these stolen uh, vehicle issues because of a uh, sort of a design flaw, but you can get a steering wheel lock for free from Seattle police. For now, they're reporting live here in Seattle at Angela Cockaday, King 5 News.